this is a uh, viewer requested video. Um, we were talking about uh, mixers and uh, consoles, and you know how much how much space. Um, he he built a uh, a custom case. It was great. He carpeted it. It looked fantastic. It looked like it just came out of the Grundorf factory, Grundorf whatever. But uh, I was intrigued at how much had to come out on the table. I, I mean. You know, what's the point of building a case if you're still using up so much table space, you know, tabletop space. So this is my Gator 10 by 8. Yeah, it's a little full. All right. Right here, my Aphex Oral Exciter. I don't know if you can actually see that. But that right there breeds some new life into old speakers. I'm really happy with that. Uh, it, you know, if the room is too echoey, I can I can adjust the waveform. You know, it's it's better than adjusting the EQ. We, we'll talk about that later if you want me to, but not right now. Here is my really old, really big mixer. <laughs> um, I have uh, replaced it a few times, but uh, I, I just keep coming back to it. My favorite is actually uh, the Denon mixer. I can't actually remember the, the, the model number, but it's probably about half this size, and each channel has EQ tweaks. It's pretty nice. But my PC DJ controller. And then down here. This is just a, a, a power strip. Um, it's not actually a conditioner. I really want a Furman uh, with uh, the LED display. Uh, all the uh, all of the uh, current Furmans have uh, that weird old-fashioned clock radio LCD style. You know, <laughs> I want the I want the LEDs that go from zero to a hundred, and then you know. Or 120, should say. <clears throat> Here's my uh, backup CD player. Don't know why that was on. <laughs> Here's my DPC 1000. I love that amp. That amp is awesome. Sits right on top of my uh, rack mount server. Um, I guess I could show you the back. No, you don't want to see the back. But the only reason I need to come outward is for my monitor and my keyboard and my mouse. Um, this is actually a uh, point of sale style LCD. It's a little old and uh, it takes a, takes a little while to warm up sometimes, especially if it's cold. <laughs> but um, I just can't find a monitor that will tilt that far. I mean, this is, that's some pretty serious tilt. But the case obviously uh, has lids that go in all different directions. And I use those lids to hide all my stuff. Now, this is actually the lid that goes up on top and it allows some space for my cables to come out. I could make that look a little bit better, but no big deal. This is actually the back of the case, which very conveniently, it's latched right there. Yep, it's pretty good. It's not so good when the wind is blowing. Sometimes, sometimes it's an issue, you know, outdoors and whatnot, but I like it. Um, if I'm using my, my actual 12 channel um, light controller, you know, it's just on-off switches or momentary switches. That would that would go here, and then I would use the the front case. I'd use that right right there. Actually, it probably comes up a little higher. So, Gator 10 by 8. I really like it. Um, I could I could do away with the CD player, but why? I, I mean. It's not really that much more weight, and if I did take it out, 
I have this big gaping hole in my uh, in my console, you know. Plus, if somebody brings me a CD, then it's really easy to uh, to play it. So I, I just keep it in there for what the hell. <laughs> um, you know, I could use the uh, CD player on the on the computer, but that gets a little complicated sometimes. Uh, so that's it, Gator, eight by ten.